Hello colleagues and others out in the YouTube world. This is a quick video to take a look at how you can create what's called a module list. And so here is on my Canvas homepage, a module list is fundamentally a direct link to modules. So the great thing about this is that this is gonna take you specifically right to a module. So if I click on this chapter 16, rigid body motion, there is a slight pause and then it will jump me all the way down to my rigid body motion, which is about halfway down my module page. Now, one of the challenges with a module page in Canvas is kind of infinite scrolling. It's a giant list of things if you're using modules and this will help you get there quicker. One kind of side tip, if you want to make your module list, at least your own module list, a little easier to navigate is you can collapse these modules. And so if you don't want to see modules that are already finished up, you can go ahead and close them up. Uh, now, each individual person will need to do that. That's not a setting that's going to be maintained across all of your students. Um, but that's the idea here. So we'll show you how to create this module list and also customize it. This, once again, is a design tool feature. So we need to open up our edit window of this page. Once the edit window is open, we then can click on our rocket chip up here, launch design tools. Now I am also going to get my window just a little bit bigger over here um, so I can see more of this editable page by grabbing that lower right corner. And so here is our edit window of this page. Once again, this is called the module list. You do need to enable this feature. So going to our settings button up here, the gears, and then scrolling down, and here is our module list. You can see I only use a handful of these advanced elements, but this one in particular, click on this to turn it from a, a dark blue X to a green check mark to open up the possibility of using this module list. Then we go into our add advanced elements and we click on a module list. Now, if you haven't added one of these before, you probably have to check on this box here and you will add it. Now it does add it in as one of your elements uh, or content content blocks, okay? So if I click on this top bar, let me just kind of back view here. We have an add rearrange content block. So it's gonna show up here as one of our content block elements. Notice as you hover over these, it actually highlights them to show you which is which. And so this particular one um, is this one right here, tools to help online course. So it basically grabs whatever the first name of the module is and assigns it that name. If you wanna move these up or down, you can just grab a hold of the double arrow and move it up or down. All right, back into our module list editing. So it's gonna, default grab all of the modules that you have listed in your module page. Now, if you want this to have happen, that's great. If you don't, you can actually turn some of these to be not viewable in this menu. So say I didn't want my, my getting started or my tools to help remote discussion, I can just click on that one there and then fundamentally that item disappeared from this list, okay? So once I saved this page, it wouldn't have a direct link to that module. Now, other things you can do, you can, uh, you can't actually change the order of these because the order of these is the order of your modules. But one thing you will need to do periodically is refresh this list. And so if you change names of modules, if you add modules, you can come up here and update module names. And it'll actually go through and grab all the new names and all the new modules if you created new modules and bring them over into this list. You can set it up to um, look over multiple columns. Now, one thing that's handy here in the design tools, if you haven't played with this as well, kind of a, a side tip, is that you can look at what this would look like either in blocks, which is actually looking at uh, these different content blocks. We can look at it what it actually looks like in the browser. And so the two column format in the browser, you can look at it what it looks like on an app. And so this is more of a narrower, say someone's looking at a phone or an iPad or um, other smaller screen device. And then of course, no style is just kind of a raw, um, it still has the hyperlinks um, and still has some of the headings, but doesn't have some of the extra um, formatting laid on top of it. So often I look at this in blocks when I'm editing things, but it's still worthwhile to look at what does this look like in the browser and also the app to get you a preview of what it looks like in those different uh, pages. And so you can also link to, if you wanted to, the modules page or actually the first item. If you have your things set up that are very sequential, you might want to send students to the first item
And if you have dates that are associated with these modules, you can actually show those dates, actually have assignments within them that are date associated, but the modules themselves are not directly date associated. You can change your icons if you want to by clicking on them and searching by words or categories to see a number of different icons that you could associate with your variety of modules. So that should give you just kind of a quick preview of what it looks like. Now, a feature that I don't use but you could is to mark the current module especially if you're doing this in kind of a weekly basis for your modules you could actually click one of these and if you click something that's current it makes it bold okay so it looks like it also gives some color possibly to your icon uh, it looks like green is the color of choice and so that can show students what is the current item now there is no feature currently to put a heading on your module list now you could put a block right ahead of it that had kind of a heading or a description but um, but this is the module list. Hopefully that helps you create some added navigation to your Canvas website and hope you have an awesome day.